Welcome back guys, this is King of Weaves here, and this is What If Naruto on Rogue Part 7. Yes, this is the finale, and uh, we didn't cover much, well, we did cover a lot, and I didn't cover the last little bit. However, I would rather, wait, I thought, this, if you're hearing this, it's uh, that I uploaded Part 6. But if you're not hearing this, it means that I, it was too short. And so I had to just put it with part 6 Which would make it Like an hour long Anyways of course If you're hearing this And if you're not you probably don't even know about this And anyways and In an alternate universe The subscribers May have got a 7th part However in this universe they might have not Anyways Now of course we left off with Naruto actually Seeing well getting caught by <clears throat> Kisame while Naruto was actually sneaking past them He actually saw them in his way And he's like yeah let me go around them And of course he was caught And Kisame for a kunai Which Naruto then actually had to You know was spotted And he's like god damn it And anyways After this Naruto really had nowhere else not, Nothing else to do But to actually fight And he was actually pretty happy That he actually got to see this guy Because the last time He only got a kick on him And this time he is uh, Ready to kill him and anyways, now, as soon as Kisame was ready to fight, he actually, did, well, as soon as Kisame was about to fight, he actually tells them, the team heavy, the remaining team heavy, basically, not to get in the way, because if they do, this is a fight between S-Rank Shinobi, and they may be S-Rank, however, him and Naruto are on two different levels, they're on levels that they cannot even fathom of yet, and, uh, of course, that, is actually shown after Naruto was giving off the aura of his aura. It was uh, he looked a bit more like Sanji Nui at this point. And anyways, Naruto's hair, of course, uh, it was a bit white here. Naruto, after all the stress that he went through in the village, of course, after being all, all of it being relieved, he basically did a carnage on everyone, and uh, his his hair started turning white. And anyways, now. Naruto did look like a, pretty much a demon at this point and uh, anyways he actually blitzed uh, <clears throat> Kisame with a pretty strong knee to the to the face yes to the face again and Naruto's like this face really needs to get smashed in and anyways of course Kisame actually poofs well not poofs turns into water and then he appears behind Naruto about to slice him in half however Naruto was able to catch the sword and actually throw him with the sword far away from him and anyways, now, Kisame was confused on how Naruto was actually able to do this. He was completely confused and he wasn't expecting it. Anyways, anyways, of course, Naruto actually looked at the others who were actually pretty scared of Naruto. However, as soon as Naruto looked at them, Kisame appeared again. And anywho, Kisame was actually in his shark form already. Of course, he's using everything that he's got, and Naruto literally started strangling Kisame in the shark form, and said, "This is the end. You're weak." Naruto literally showed none of his strength here, literally being so strong that Kisame had no chance. Even Kakuzu did a better job. However, Kisame's plan worked. Kisame, this wasn't Kisame. It was just a clone that was made out of <clears throat> paper bombs, literally. Naruto saw Kisame glowing and then realized what it was and as soon as Kisame exploded Naruto actually had a broken arm <laughs> pretty much he, he couldn't escape this Naruto wasn't expecting it and he exploded right in front of him while he was holding him with the left hat with the left arm that he was holding him well, well he was strangling Kisame with his left and it was completely broken and Naruto wasn't expecting something like this and anyways of course Kisame started laughing coming out of the woods saying do you really think I would have died idiot and as soon as he says that he's like you're coming with me nine toes we're nearly done we captured the seven tails oh now Naruto after hearing that he's like so you captured Fu was she sealed away yet and he's Kisame is like of course it's been like two or three days anyway we shall be going with you now We'll capture the eight tools afterwards. We'll, we'll imprison you, and then we'll get the eight tools. And Naruto then actually opens his eyes again and says, 
You shouldn't have said that you captured the eight tools since I was friends with her. Now you will die by my hands. And as he says that, Naruto throws a kunai before Kisame could even see and actually stabs his eye. Well, actually, he throws it at his eye. And Kisame's eyes, well, one of his eyes was actually destroyed because of it. And Naruto teleported there and then said, You're finished. Of course, Naruto having his broken arm healed already actually takes the kunai out and then uses a Rasengan with the other one and smashes it in Kisame's face. But Kisame, of course, wasn't dead yet and uh, actually went into his shark form. His face was a bit deformed, however, he could still bite and everything. And so, as he tried to attack Naruto, Naruto then says, Try eating this. And as he says that, he actually created a Rasen Shuriken with lava, uh, well, a blue Rasen Shuriken uh, with lava style on it. And basically, he's using both two tails and four tails chakra together. Yes, the, the tail beast chakra. And just saying, Naruto did get few uh, ch uh, tail beast chakra as well because the tail beast actually saw that Naruto was someone he could trust. And anyways, now Naruto smashes it into uh, <clears throat> his mouth, and uh, Kisame dies. And literally, Naruto, uh, with basically no, oh, well, he's only wearing his trousers after his explosion, his. Uh, Shirt and everything, everything. Well, his uh, jumper shirt, everything was uh, ripped away, ripped apart. And Naruto just looked at them after the explosion happened, and the, every the battlefield was on fire. Of course, so you get to actually put out some fire around, well, put out the fire around them, uh, so they don't get burned or anything. And anyways, of course, so you get to, so you get to asks just how who is he. And anyways, anywho, Naruto then asks who are they. And they just say that they're here with their fr with their friend of the theirs or their leader, and they're just waiting for him to come back. And Naruto's like, "Who's your leader? What's your, who are you? What's your organization? And what's your goal?" Of course, this will determine whether I kill you too or not. After all, you did see some of my strength, and I can't let that go out. Of course, then they say that their leader is actually well. Uh, Jugo says we won't tell you anything and Naruto says if you don't tell me you will die and Jugo is already going into this rampage form and Naruto dies like, so you're using sage chakra even though I have no experience with that I can feel it I will destroy you I'm telling you now and literally he smashes Jugo onto the ground and literally says listen tell me you what was your name and Sugetsu is like me and Naruto is like who else is here Karin and Naruto doesn't know who Karin is. Uh, sorry, what? Uh, what am I talking about? Sorry, sorry. Uh, of course, Sugetsu says, My name is Sugetsu. I will eat this sausage. Just let Jugo go. And Naruto's like, Oh, so Sasuke. I guess you guys were with Orochimaru too then. And of course, now they're like, Yes, we were. But, anyways, Naruto then says, Well, since I don't want to get involved with you guys, I'll be going now. You got lucky. I could have killed you instantly there if your friend didn't have the balls to tell me. Anyways, I'll see you around. But the next time we see each other, we may be enemies and I might have to kill you. So if you do see me around, you should flee. Anyways, Naruto is actually warning them that if they see each other next time, Naruto will have no, no other choice than to kill them because uh, he doesn't like them at all. And you, I just fell asleep. And uh, I woke up two or maybe three hours later. I don't remember when I fell asleep. Th two hours, not three. But the recording is still three hours. For some reason, I don't know why. Uh, but anyways. Wait. Anyway, one second. I'm so sorry. Uh, I woke up at eight. Uh, four hours ago. And uh, I actually decided to play with some friends at the end and start recording. Now it's 12.05 and I need to record for this video and the uh, next part of a new wife. Well, not next part, first part of a new wife. But anyway, we left off with uh, Naruto actually telling so he gets to them not to actually have anything to do with them. And he went the way Sasuke went without knowing. And anyways, of course, they were going to tell him that Sasuke was on that way and not to disturb him. But he was, they were too scared. After he nearly killed Jugo within seconds and anyways. Now, Naruto was heading to 
whatever the uh, hell he wanted to. He was just traveling in the first place. And anyways, he has no mission as of right now other than eradicating the Hakatsuki because of all the things they did to the people that he knew. Three of the Jinjuriki that he actually knew died. And uh, of course, it was so he wasn't really... He was very pissed, not not to the point where he wants to torture them, but just kill them, get revenge as soon as possible and get over with, with it and uh, head on with his life. Of course, as he was doing that, he actually saw three Susanoo's summoning uh, and basically Naruto was actually intrigued in his life. So the three Uchiha's, remaining Uchiha's are fighting. <sighs> Why do I always get mixed up with this? Anyways, of course, in the end, Naruto actually goes and sees this fight. And uh, Itachi does, in the end, still die as per normal. And uh, Naruto's like, so Sasuke, Tsuki, you've completed your life missions. So, do you have anything else to do? Tsuki sees Naruto and she is completely out of chakra. Of course, Sasuke was nearly at, on the point of, on the verge of fainting. And Naruto's like, there's no need to get too worked up. I'm not here to fight. I'm just here to ask you, was it really worth killing your brother, huh? Do you really think killing your brother was the right way to find your answers? I'm sure you still don't know why Itachi did all of this, do you now? And then Tuki's like, as if like, you know, you know nothing about us. Why do you even get in this? Why did you come here? Naruto's that I was just intrigued by three seasonals being summoned. Well... You guys would have definitely lost if Itachi was at his prime. If you didn't notice, Itachi was already dead inside. Do you guys never wonder why he would do that? Itachi would never kill his parents. Anyone, no one would kill their parents. Out of spite. Or out of wanting to get stronger. You could see in Itachi's eyes while he was fighting you guys. He was on the verge of being blind. And... Plus, if Itachi was really in the Akatsuki, do you guys think he would allow you to... Well, you guys are strong enough. Okay, maybe you're stronger than most of the Akatsuki members, but Itachi was on the, high, was on the stronger side of the Akatsuki. And, you could see it. He was dead. He had an illness. I did make some research on him. And, when I saw him the last time, he was much healthier than now. Even though he was battle damaged, you could see it. He's much paler. And everything. He must have had an illness. A terminal one. At, 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 to <clears throat> A terminal illness. So he was going to die either way. That's why he wasn't really trying to kill you guys. Maybe if you fought through this. Maybe if you just talked to with each other. And maybe if you just talked to him normally like civilized people. You would have got your answers. And maybe you could have saved Itachi. However, of course... You guys are from the Leaf Village, and you don't do things like that. Anyways, I shall be going. It's your loss. You lost your brother, not my loss. Oh well, now you can weep over him after you find out the truth. Naruto does not know the truth. However, he does want to actually find out the truth. But he first wants to kill the Akatsuki leader, and maybe he will find some answers then. The Akatsuki leader must know some things about Itachi and why he did that if he joined the Akatsuki in the first place anyways Itachi did seem like he didn't want to kill Naruto in the first place and when he was trying to capture him back in the days he wasn't even trying because if he really was Itachi was pretty much at his prime back then at his peak 18 year old Itachi was much stronger than Naruto and could have captured him within seconds he wouldn't have even let Naruto go in fact he could have sealed him away himself with the Tosuka blade destroying half the town however if he really was trying he wouldn't care about the town he would just take Naruto away anyways of course Itachi must have had an alternate motive and after that Tsuki actually does follow Naruto while Sasuke actually stays back and asks himself if it was the right decision to make and then faints then of course, Tsuki then got blown away by Naruto. Naruto's like, you stay with your brother. I don't need you to follow me. I don't know why you're following me. I told you multiple times I don't want to return to that damned village. Why do you still do this? Tsuki then says, I just want I just want you to return, Naruto. You know how I feel about you. And basically, Naruto then says, even if you feel like that, does it look like I give a damn? Really, Tsuki? I don't want to return to that village. I never had any feelings for you. You need to understand that. 
And Tzuki says, no, you did. I know you did. They were faint, but if those, if you just remained in the village, I'm sure they would have developed. And Naruto's like, listen, Tzuki, don't be delusional. I hated you. I hated everyone in the village. The Hokage, every single person in that village, I did not like. There was not one person I liked. Everyone, they tried to kill me. When I was powerless, I could do nothing. I was just a child and they still tried to kill me. They didn't know that the Ninetos can't do anything when he's sealed inside of me. In fact, now I take chalk from the Ninetos. I could just return and destroy the village. However, I pity them. Because if I do, there will be no one to protect them. After all, the only person that could have protected them was the Hokage. But they were powerless to save him as well. If only some shinobi helped them. Helped him fight Orochimaru back then. I know it's because of Orochimaru. And Orochimaru now is dead. And I know that you must feel responsible for all the things that happened to the Hokage. Because you're all weak. However, now think about this. If I do return. And I still hate the village. And you capture me. If I break free. If I break loose. You know I would cause... Havoc in the village. I'll destroy it myself with my own two hands. It doesn't matter to me. I don't even know who my parents were. They were probably rogue ninjas themselves. They probably just left me in the leaf village. And the leaf elders actually realised that I'm an Uzumaki with a lot of chakra. That's why they sealed the nantos inside of him. me. Now, leave before I kill you. Of course, Tsuki... Naruto did not want to kill Tsuki. Naruto... He knows that he had faint feelings for her. After all the time that he spent with her, he was the first person that Naruto ever really got close to. However, he didn't want to like show anything. And plus, once Tsuki actually started walking towards him, Tsuki was injured. Tsuki was on the verge of fainting as well. She's out of chakra. And of course, once she tried to approach Naruto, Naruto then told her, one more step and I will kill you. Of course, Tsuki says, I'd rather be killed by you than anyone else. I don't want anyone else to take my life except for you. Naruto then f says, alright then, it's your choice. Naruto gets a kunai out and makes his wind ki wind, blade? wind lightning wind blade. Of course, Tsuki now finally dis uh, knows that Naruto will def or kill definitely kill her. Naruto blitzes her. However, as Tsuki thinks he killed her, Naruto does not. Naruto just slices. Well, he doesn't slice. He was about to slice her, however, he stopped midway. Tsuki actually thought that she was going to die, and she closed her eyes, but she actually fainted. Naruto made her think that made her think that she was about to get killed by him. Basically, sliced apart. However, Naruto wasn't going to do it. Naruto did not want to kill anymore. Naruto doesn't want to kill anyone except for the Akatsuki members because they're the ones who killed his friends, the only people that he got close to, truly. Anywho, Naruto takes her back where Itachi and Sasuke were. And actually he says, Itachi Uchiha, I'm sure you were a great man. They grew up just like how you wanted them, right? Tsuki and Sasuke are strong. They can protect themselves. However, you did a mistake, Sasuke. You should not let him go with Orochimaru. I'm sure you wanted Sasuke and Tsuki to become stronger to, make, to allow them kill you that's why you even told them to come here in the first place anyways rest in peace i'll find out the true reason why you killed ochiha clan and then i'll come and visit your grave if you even have one one day you'll be hailed as a hero in the leaf if he survives the upcoming wave anyways naruto saying that because he knows something is coming up he has a hunch and he actually heads off of course after this Obito arrives and takes the two Chihas and Team Happy to his little hideout and he tells them about everything. Tsuki, of course, realized that Naruto was right and asked if anyone else knows other than them. And he says, the Leaf Elders, the Anzo, who ordered Itachi to do it, as, as I said, and no one else. And then he, Sasuke actually says, then how does Naruto know? And then he's like, Naruto's a Maki. How could he have known? I don't believe Naruto knows. However, maybe Itachi told him, but I don't recall Itachi having any contact with Naruto other than three years ago, around the time he left the village. Anyways, now, your mission 
if you join, if you decide to stay with me, I'll help you kill Donzo, get your revenge. And there was only one condition: capture the eight toes for me. We'll, we, Akatsuki, will take care of the nine toes. Pain, the Renegon user, we'll take care of him now, Sasuke. Tsuki, it's your choice. You can leave, but you will be killed soon enough if you leave. However, if you join me, you will live a happy life and you will get what you want. Your dream will come true. Sasuke, of course, stays with him, Team Hebi, becoming Team Taka. Of course, already having the Mongekyo as she decides that he needs to get even stronger. And Tsuki, actually, well, of course, Obito actually entices Tsuki to actually join them by actually giving her the Mongekyo. But Tsuki actually takes one of Sasuke's and Itachi's eyes because they were going to switch. Their eye would actually just stay in a little bowl, you know, where they keep their eyes. And Tsuki keeps her own one. Sasuke keeps her, his own one. And, of course, they get the Eternal Mongekyo. This was two weeks later. And this was around the time where, well... Jirai was heading towards the rain and of course Tsuki after getting the Mangekyo she was about to go to capture the eight tails however she says no she got her Mangekyo and she escaped of course Obito's like oh well there's no need to run you will be killed in due time Sasuke you still going to do the mission or are you going to fight me and escape Sasuke says that if you're going to help me kill Danzo it's alright of course Sasuke is completely on the wrong path well Tsuki knows that Itachi does not want them to go against the Leaf Village and if you've been hearing a bit of this That's actually my <laughs> Tea bottle. Yes, I have I love my iced tea Anyways, that's why you've been hearing a bit of movement. I'm actually moving a bit if you have noticed now I'm sorry if you are if it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I'm just going to finish in a bit one sec Let me have a sip I said a sip There was 1.5 liters in this. I'm pretty sure there was like a liter left I gulped it. <laughs> Anyways. Oh well. I'll just buy a new one. I love my tea. I'm addicted. It's like drugs to me. No. YouTube, please. I beg. I don't mean it. Don't. This is no endangerment. This is nothing. I'm just saying that I'm really addicted to Lipton Iced Peach Tea. This is not a sponsor. But yeah. Anyway. Please, YouTube. Don't, don't cancel me or something. Please. You see, guys, YouTubers can't do shit to YouTube, but, like, if YouTube says something, it's, you have to do it, like, but YouTubers have to suck YouTube off, because if they do anything against them, they're getting deleted, G. Anyways, now, of course, we skip a bit to Jiraiya. Jiraiya has finally, well, Tsuki has returned after a few weeks, and she was asked of what happened. She denies uh, giving any information, except that, she will be bringing Naruto back. That's her next mission. And she does tell Tsunade. And Tsunade says, do you need any backup? Kakashi does say that he wants to join. However, Tsuki says that this is between him and Naruto, her and Naruto. And she says that she wants to do this on her own. And Kakashi says, all right, then. And just saying, Kakashi is really strong. He has his Sharingan and he can use it perfectly at this point. And anywho. Now, of course, Naruto who I was around the rain village fate fate I say fate and the fate opening actually came on raw anyways of course Naruto who was around there however he wasn't actually going to do anything to help Jiraiya oh my god I said Jiraiya and then I put the fucking sign opening of Naruto what the hell is going on today oh, I love this opening anyway but anyways like I didn't even mean it I just put on some music on uh, put on some music on English anyways <laughs> Jiraiya has arrived and Naruto he was around the vicinities of it he wasn't literally in the village he was around a few towns away however Naruto was thinking of going to master sage mode he did learn a few things about sage mode over the two weeks because he wanted to become even stronger because after get, doing some inf some info breaking he find out he fa find out he finds out that the leader of the Akats Akatsuki has the Rinnegan and he does do some research about the Rinnegan and he actually finds out and even the Nantos tells him that the Rinnegan, yes, Naruto and the Nantos actually talk quite a bit and <laughs> talking way too fast. And of course, Naruto does find out that the Rinnegan was used actually, it was actually used by the Sage of Six Paths. And so he realized that this technique, this Dojutsu is very strong and he doesn't want to mess with it. Oh my God, I applauded shit. Sorry. Anyways, of course, Naruto actually does this to summon Jutsu and does ask about 
how can he learn Sayyidina to some of the tools? And they say that the only tool that can teach him that is Fukasaku. Uh, However, he's actually f gone. He was been he's been summoned with Ma, with his wife Ma. Ma and Pa, Ma and pa were summoned. And anyways, the Jiraiya fight goes a bit different here. Jiraiya actually nearly dies. He's already on the verge of dying, of course. And so Jiraiya thinks that he doesn't want to get Ma and Pa killed because of him because of his mistakes and so he tells them that they'll be he'll be sending them back because he doesn't want them to get hurt because of him and so of course they say no we'd rather no dry boy don't and of course anywho of course ma and pa were sent back and uh, dryer was about to die as soon as they arrived they actually arrived in front of naruto and they heard a lot of, about Naruto from Jiraiya, how Naruto is super strong now, and ba basically he even even himself with Sage Mode because he doesn't want to fight him with Sage Mode, but and just saying Jiraiya master Sage Mode just to f bring back Naruto, and he actually decided not to fight Naruto because he doesn't want to kill him or anything or injure him because he is his godfather and everything, and he believes it's his it's his fault and he doesn't really want to hurt Naruto because of his mistakes, and so of course. They actually beg Naruto to help Jiraiya and Naruto ask why should I? I don't understand. I have nothing to do with him. And they actually reveal to Naruto that Jiraiya is his godfather. He was assigned by Minato to be his godfather. So they know everything basically. And Naruto's eyes widen and he's like, Why? Why? Why do you tell me this now? Why am I finding out just now? And of course they say that Jiraiya wanted to tell him once he returned to the village. However, he wasn't able to bring him back. And Naruto then says, Alright then, say no more. And he actually, he actually got told where Jiraiya was. And Naruto actually then, uh, actually, uh, had the kunai in the, leaf, in, the, uh, in the vicinities of the rain village. And so he teleported there. And uh, he actually uh, blitzed past everything and wasn't noticed because he was going so fast. And uh, in the end, he actually, uh, I'm speaking a bit less loudly. Otherwise, they'll hear me upstairs and come downstairs because they, um, they think I'm talking to my friends. I'm not. I just realized so, uh, the guy that uploaded this anime OST playlist or opening playlist. He commented on his own video, he just said something and pinned it. He got 400 likes. Someone else commented, they got 1.7. That's sad. Oh well. And someone got 600. That's peak, man. Allowed. Anyways. Now, of course, Naruto arrived and he arrived last second. That Jirai was about to get killed. And it was actually by Pain. Pain actually threw a, <clears throat> a rod at Naruto. And Naruto's like, yeah. Allow it. You're not hurting my godfather. He's the only person I have left. I have left, and so as soon as Naruto arrived, Naruto literally broke the rod by actually pulling a kunai right in front of himself, and the rod actually hit the tip of the kunai until it broke, and it was going at top speeds. And of course, Jiraiya was like Naruto, and Naruto said, "I'll explain later. We have to escape. I have no information about them, so let's go." I'll heal you. And of course Naruto was healing him while he was thinking of a way to get out. And of because he he didn't know which way to go out. And uh, of course he could have teleported Jiraiya. However Jiraiya is way too injured right now. And if if he teleports him like randomly and Jiraiya falls down he might hurt himself. But of course as soon as he thinks about he was thinking on how to escape without Jiraiya being too much too hurt because Jiraiya was on the verge of dying his body is completely destroyed and Naruto needs to be careful with him he doesn't want to hurt him anymore and anyways of course as soon as he saw Pain attacking with the rest Naruto actually made a few clones and they all used different types of jutsus one used the Recentrican to actually create a pretty much smoke screen for them to escape Jiraiya was healed enough well he's major damage was healed and so Naruto's like are you ready we'll have we're going to have to teleport pretty far it's going to be a bit hard for you I don't know if you've ever experienced this and just saying Naruto teleports in a different way of course it's basically the flying Raijin however his one has lightning release to it so he can actually use him he can actually teleport much faster and, and 
he does go for a bit of lightning while he's teleporting and basically Naruto's so used to it that it doesn't do any damage to him however if someone who's not used to it they might get hurt it's basically a more refined version of the flying Raijin just that it's faster yes Naruto can teleport even faster than the flying Raijin itself like uh, Minato's one and however it comes with a few uh, drawbacks so uh, the flying Raijin that Minato uses it doesn't hurt anyone however Naruto actually increase the speed of it by actually adding lightning release which can actually electrocute people and so Jirai actually did go for a bit of electricity which actually kind of hurt but he'd rather be hurt a bit more than dying and anyways Naruto said I listen I'll heal you fully but I'm going to return to Mount Miyaboku because I made a deal I know everything now I'm the son of Minato however I don't know my mother yet and I know I know you're my godfather after us to learn sage mode, we can have a little talk. However, right now, I want to learn sage mode because I need to kill, destroy the Akatsuki. They killed my friends. Anyway, Dryden says, no, wait. Please, Naruto. And of course, they know, the Akatsuki, well, Pain knows that Naruto is not part of the leaf anymore. However, if he helped Jiraiya, if he came to save him, that means he must have got back to the leaf. And anyway, so that's how the leaf attack will actually begin. And anyways, Naruto and Jiraiya go to the uh, to Mount Miyaboku because Jiraiya can teach Naruto Sage Mode now. Of course, Jiraiya did a lot better. However, Pain actually was a bit more aggressive here. Pain, uh, of course, Naruto was like, okay, he has perfect Sage Mode. No, I can't, I can't handle this. And so he went all out. And anyways. He was going to destroy him, he was going to kill him, but Naruto came in and Naruto and Jirai actually got to bond together. Since they didn't have their two year training together and their first one month training, they didn't know too much about each other. However, Naruto told him everything that he did over the few years that he's been out away from the leaf. And Jirai and Naruto actually found out they actually have a lot of the same interests, a lot of the same hobbies. And even Naruto likes writing here. He likes writing about all his journeys. And he actually has a little book that he wrote about his journeys and things that he's learned. And things that uh, people that he's met. And of course, Jiraiya actually says there are a few things you can correct. However, it's very good for your first ever book. Naruto hasn't published anything. But anyways, Naruto and Jiraiya actually bond a lot. And Naruto actually mastered Sage Mode. Yes, he actually mastered Sage Mode within these two weeks. And Jiraiya says, how about you return to the village just for a bit? To see how it is. Naruto then says only because you're telling me. Nothing else. Nothing too special. Afterwards I'm going to. I'm going to return to my journey. And on my mission. To kill the Akatsuki. Destroy it. Eradicate it. Then abolish it. Annihilate. More words. More words. Hey Siri. What are some synonyms for annihilation? Oh shit. Siri doesn't work. Anyway. <laughs> Now, yeah, sometimes my series Siri just bugs out. Uh, and anyways, we move. Naruto, of course, returns to the Leaf Village. And uh, it's actually a week before the Leaf attack. And this is because Pain doesn't know too much about Naruto. And so they're making research. And during this time, uh, Sasuke um, actually was ready to go attack the... Well, find the... And uh, capture the eight tails. Yes, it took that long, two weeks straight. And around this time, well, in a week's time, they were going to do it. Jir uh, no, Sasuke actually took one more week because he needed to actually get used to using his perfect Susano. And um, Obito understood. And uh, he and during that time, of course, Pain had to find out more information about Naruto, everything. And he researched quite a bit. He knows everything about Naruto pretty much now. And now he just needs to find a good plan to neutralize Naruto because Naruto has a lot of things that can destroy pain and so he needs to get ready for it and uh, what he's planning is to seal Naruto away in the planetary devastation as fast as possible anyways well not as fast as possible first he has to weaken Naruto quite a bit because he knows that Naruto has enough power to actually destroy the planetary devastation however he believes he can beat Naruto and so he's going to do it and this is why I actually took this to a seven part because look I had my fourth six part was nearly 50 minutes and plus this an hour and a half I'm not recording for that on G uh, I need to record another video I record two videos a day now like that's how much like 
of that one that one month i was on the verge of being burnt i wasn't really burnt out one video day was fine but that one month just got me so bored now i'm just recording videos after videos of the videos it's just so much fun i'm not gonna burn myself out after a while i'm just going to get back to one video a day like recording wise and i'm gonna be ahead by a lot of videos i actually want to recontinue my series that i actually dropped yes a series that i dropped i got to part three but that day i actually found out about the government thing and everything and it just demoralized me and anyways i might continue i have to listen to all three parts of the day they allow log jesus anyways now of course naruto once he actually returns with jiraiya a lot of people are scared he thought that of course well they thought that naruto was captured and uh, something or maybe he's just there to destroy the village and he just followed jiraiya but of course naruto just starts walking and he sees a lot of things a lot of things have changed from the time he has left, but he still considers this a bit of a home. Somewhere deep inside of him, he still does consider the leaf as his home. However, he looks ahead and he does see something that he has missed quite a bit, Ichiraku Ramen. I know Naruto has said that no one really likes him, but however, Ichiraku did like him quite a bit. However, he hasn't been there a lot. Remember, Naruto used to go... He doesn't didn't used to eat a lot back in the days and just had enough to survive. And plus he didn't have much money. And uh, anyways, of course, he didn't even accept too much money from the Hokage. He even said that I only need this much. I don't need the rest. I don't even live in the house anymore. Anyways, of course, well, not in the house. Like he, enough to pay rent because the Hokage gave him enough to pay rent and buy groceries for the month. However, Naruto didn't need to buy groceries for the month. All he needed is a few things. And he would eat like once every three days or something. Anyways, now, of course, Naruto actually says, can we go there first? And uh, as soon as he walks in, of course, Jiraiya, uh, well, Ichiraku is like, wait, is that, is that who I think he is? And Naruto is like, it's been a while, right? And uh, of course, even the door knew Naruto and like, we're so sorry. We couldn't do anything to help you. And Naruto is like, it's fine. And of course, they have they're having the food while talking to each other, and even uh, the the they weren't too busy on the day. And anyways, of course, as uh, it was uh, pretty much in the like early afternoon, and uh, people were just starting to come in, and of course, a few people came in. If uh, I'm just saying, this is a bit just slice of life, and uh, a certain person came in with uh, her friends. Of course, it was Tsuki. They walked in to see two people eating. Of course, they didn't really recognize them how, because Naruto has changed his clothes a bit. He's actually gone a bit back to orangish uh, black. Before he was all the black, which with just a smidge of orange there. Basically, the Naruto last clothes. However, now he's back to a bit of orange. Jiraiya bought new clothes, yes, on the way here. And, well, he had some clothes for Naruto as a gift. He actually went out of the man Boku. And anyways, Naruto accepted them because he does consider Jiraiya as his godfather now. And anyways, let me go. Uh, I'm just going to stop the video here and I'm just going to go read a bit of the feedback. Yes, I do read a lot of the comments. Feedback is very important for me and uh, I do try to improve from that. And if some people say, oh, he doesn't, he doesn't read comments. No, I do. I, in fact, feedback is the only reason why it keeps me going like, I love the comments and if you're early you get you get hot so you should turn that bell notification see that plug shameless exactly I found the comment the immortal archer if you're watching this thank you man I, I read your comment it's three minutes ago this man be putting work but this man be putting in work for us thanks Tico you see that's the, you see thank you thank you this is what keeps me motivated I know this is just a little bit of there but anyway and I just read the comment, you deserve a free hour nap while it's raining outside. What's going on? Did, how does he know I took a nap for three hours today? What's going on? Are you stalking? I see you. I see you. I'm not, I'm not dang police. What a name to be honest. Anyway, if you're all, if you, if you're watching this, shout out to you. Anyway, let's return to the video. That's enough of reading. I read for quite a bit. Anyways, I read the new comments. Thank you for your support. I really enjoy it. I enjoy reading comments. Back in the days when my channel was small, I could read every single comment. But now there's just so many, I can't get through every single one. And I, I'm getting older, so I have to do more exams and everything. And But I still love the comments that I read here and there. Especially at 
at the start of the videos i really enjoy reading the comments whoever's early thank you so much for actually supporting me and putting that bell notification on and coming as soon as the video comes on like thank you so much anyway i love it now tsuki does walk in with shikamaru choji Ino, and shino as well that's her little friend and sakura that's her little friend group here and she was about to go on a mission to find naruto in a few days well of course they actually walked in and they saw jiraiya of course tsuki's like oh hey hey jiraiya sensei and jiraiya's like hmm and naruto's like oh no please no don't be who i think he is and naruto just turns around with ramen in his mouth and he's like or well, stuffing his face he's like oh well let's get back to eating and get the fuck out of course naruto was actually eating and tsuki's like wait 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 wait, 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 wait what's going on here and uh, she everyone was confused and they're like naruto and they didn't hear the people talking the word hasn't spread too fast yet because not many people saw him but the people that did see him ran away and everything the word was spreading fast now and of course uh, people were confused and even kakashi actually heard the rumor and he's like wait no way and of course he was searching everywhere but once he heard tsuki screaming naruto's name of course naruto actually ate his bone ramen gave the money and he's like anyway i'll be going uh jiraiya said <laughs> well he doesn't uh, i'm not sure what naruto would call him here since naruto is a lot more educated even though he had no one to educate him here he's more educated just off of that uh experiences he got over time while he was traveling i wouldn't know what naruto would call jiraiya father godfather jiraiya sensei but naruto just goes on with the uh, pervy sense pervy sage as usual because jiraiya's book up with pervy he has read a few he shouldn't have anyways of course the jiraiya uh, naruto just says pervy sage i'll be going and the uh, jiraiya's like ah oh, i'll see you in a bit naruto remember you have to see the hokage by 3 p.m and of course jiraiya has to uh, Tsunade and Tsunade wanted to see Naruto straight away however Naruto did want to first hang out around the village and see the old spots that he used to go to and uh, anyways of course Tsunade does has had a little meeting with Naruto back in the days a few years back but she's never really met Naruto as a person and uh, she's going to like this Naruto much more than the original she's going to be more fun because he's not as rude and he'll be more polite and anyways and now not as naruto was walking out kakashi actually finally arrived and he's like naruto and naruto looks and says oh hey kakashi how's it going and kakashi was a bit hurt that he wasn't being called sensei anymore and uh, he's like so you're not even gonna call me sensei anymore and naruto's like well you haven't been my sensei for a while now but oh, whatever i'll see you later kakashi sensei and of course kakashi was a bit more relieved but he asks why he why is he back and basically naruto's like i'm only back for the request of my godfather nothing else you can go talk to him in there uh, there are a few people so you can actually runs out even shikamaru and choji uh, and shino and the rest and basically naruto actually starts pretty much jumping away and um, Tsuki and Shikamaru follow while Choji and the rest actually stay back. Of course, they don't want to get in the way because Shikamaru and Tsuki were the closest ones to Naruto, basically, or the ones who actually really enjoyed like Naruto and actually wanted to be his friend. But anyways, Naruto actually finally was in the favorite spot of his of the village, and uh, of course, uh, he actually is on the top of the Minato's head. And uh, he's like, oh well, it's been a while since I've been here. Anyways, of course he looks at over at uh, the Hokage stone, uh, the third Hokage stone face, and he actually does shed a little tear because the Hokage always tried to help Naruto, and uh, you know Naruto disrespected him as well. And so, of course, after a while, he actually goes to the grave of the two, and uh, they find him there. And of course, Naruto actually cries a bit for his parents yes he does and then she goes to the photo kake they just watch and naruto just starts apologizing over and over again with tears in his, in his eyes and yes he does because naruto was extremely sad for what he did for all the things that the hokage had to go because of through not because of naruto and he after apologizing of course yeah she stood back up and 
of course, he was about to head out and he sees that the two were there and they ask why Naruto's back and Naruto is, uh, tells them that if they don't want, if they don't join Naruto in the village he will he can leave at any time. He's just here for a bit for one week at least and he'll leave if he has to and if he wants to. And of course, he will leave. Well, not fully. He doesn't uh, well, we'll see. Anyways, of course they say we don't want you to leave and Naruto then says Give me one valid reason why I should stay in this village. And they say that it's his home. People are pretty much... Well, of course, they can't really see people missing him or anything. However, they say that some people do miss him. And Naruto says, yeah, however, the majority hates me and they're scared of me. And plus, even if I stay in the, remain in this, this village, now I just bring it much more, mu much more <coughs> danger. Since I am wanted by the Akatsuki and the, Akats the few Akatsuki members that are remaining, they are extremely strong. And so, it's better for me to stay out of the village so they don't come and destroy it just searching for me. Of course then they say that it's fine, they can protect Naruto. And Naruto then says it's not that I'm scared, I'm just saying I don't want to remain in this village. Of course Naruto doesn't really mind just staying with his godfather at this point, but anyways, of course... Tsuki then asks Shikamaru to just leave them alone for a bit and Shikamaru's like well it was a drag anyway and he tells Naruto that if he has to fight him he will fight him to make him remain in the village and Naruto says he's not looking forward to this because he has and Shikamaru has trained a lot harder after Naruto saved them and right before Shikamaru left he tells him thank you for saving us and Tsuki's like what do you mean oh, thank you for saving us and not uh, then Shikamaru quickly explains that Naruto was just passing by and uh, he did save Asuma and them. She didn't know about this. She wasn't told about this because after that she was actually on a lot of missions. And then but Itachi, she didn't come to know about this. And Naruto did kill the two uh, Akatsuki members because he was pretty pissed off. And Naruto's like, I wasn't helping you. I was just getting revenge for one of my friends. And Tsuki's their friends. And uh, of course uh, he says, yeah... She was killed, and uh, Tsuki, of course, got a bit jealous. Of course, uh, she was saddened for her death, but of course, Shikamaru then leaves because you know something's about to go down. He's like, Yeah, let me not get into this. See ya. And, anyways, of course, she asks, What do you mean, friend? She, and of course, Naruto says, like, It's none of your business. And she says, Did you have a girlfriend? And what I'm confused. And Naruto's like, Listen, Tsuki, even if I did, it doesn't matter, it doesn't concern and any of you here and Tsuki just says that I just want to know and anyways Naruto then explains no she was more of a sensei to me and they even killed my other sensei of course Naruto has had multiple teachers four in total Kakashi, Roshi then uh, Yugito and then Jiraiya only four in his life and he had many more in the original we know that of course Iruka as well so five Iruka, Kakashi, Jiraiya and others in the original. <laughs> I think he had less in the original. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, now. Of course Naruto. Explains everything that happened to him over the years. And Tsuki actually apologizes for not. Being able to come. Uh, being able to tell what happened to Naruto. And Naruto. Of course uh, she started crying. And Naruto uh, actually wiped tears off. And said. Listen Tsuki. You don't need to worry about me. I am who I am. And I decided to be like this. So. Just leave. You leave me alone. It will be better for you. Just forget I even existed. And Tsuki says no she can't because she actually does love him. And Naruto of course is kind of struck by this. Like, he, he thought that she was only saying it to actually return him to the village. However she was being serious and Naruto then says listen Tsuki. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we can meet each other again. But right now it's not the best of times. Once the Akatsuki is destroyed. Then maybe. However, right now, the Akatsuki is still out there. And so, wherever Naruto is, he's endangering the people around him. So, certainly he can't stay here. Endangering her would be <laughs> really bad. And of course, Tsuki says that it's fine by her. She doesn't mind being in danger as long as he's with him. And Naruto then says, you're going too far now. Anyways, I need to meet with the Hokage now. See ya. Of course, Naruto does meet with Tsunade. And 
is very polite and Tsunade says gives Naruto anything that he wants literally says if you need anything you can just remain in the village at any time you, I'll give you home everything you don't even have to pay rent I'll pay for you and Naruto says it's not because of that listen you guys need to understand as long as I'm in this village it will endanger everyone here and I don't want to endanger innocent people even though I'm not fond of them I don't like death killing it's something I don't enjoy doing I know I've killed many in my life, however, well, as, as long as they come at me first, it's just self-protection, self-defense, self, self anyways, of course, Naruto says that he doesn't want to kill anyone and he doesn't want to get anyone who isn't involved in his life in danger because of him, and they say at least stay for a week and see how it is, and of course, Naruto says he will, but once he will definitely leave afterwards just to go destroy the Akatsuki and maybe after the Akatsuki is eradicated he might return or he might just continue his journey to write his books and Tsunade is like, where would you get this habit from now? Did the two weeks with dry change you already? And Naruto says, no, it was a hobby of mine anyway and of course Tsunade is like, alright then anyways, anything you need you can come to me and Naruto says, alright and uh, of course he, right before he leaves says not to get too drunk and uh, anyways of course she's like what you want and Naruto says uh, you were pretty drunk the last time we met and anyways of course he let he leaves and Jiraiya starts laughing saying that he already knows too much he already knows her weaknesses and of course Tsunade is like what do you mean weaknesses they're not weaknesses they're just a habit and anyways now of course uh, they were making a bit of jokes but anyways Naruto does remain for a week and he actually enjoys it the villagers weren't too bad to him at this point of course the villagers saw that Naruto has changed a lot and some were fearful but at the same time some realized that Naruto was actually really really kind and uh, of course Naruto visited a lot of places and uh, of course he helped a lot of people out he helped the elderly and the elderly weren't scared of naruto at this point and the people that actually hated naruto actually started coming to liking him and anyways of course majority still hated him and were scared of him however on the day naruto was going to leave something happens pain attacks the attack on the leaf be begins a lot of people are killed instantly because the of the summonings and naruto realizes this anyways of course, he was very angry. However, then, Pain, Tendo, you know, the diva path, decides to use the catastrophic almighty push straight away because he knows that Naruto is in this village and he doesn't want to risk anything. Naruto sees this coming. He tries to stop this. However, he was too weak. Of course, you can't stop a catastrophic almighty push like that. Like, I don't know. He wasn't expecting something like this. Of course, he knows that he knows how to use almighty push and these kind of stuff. However, he didn't expect one of this scale anyways now Naruto does get pretty much bodied right there however he wasn't too injured and he was very pissed off because he couldn't sense anyone's well not anyone but he couldn't sense most of the villagers Naruto was very angry and destroyed each of the pains one by one of course Jiraiya arrived and the last pain uh, well Naruto actually did try to use the planetary devastation however Naruto realized what this was what was happening straight away and so he actually created something that no one expected Naruto actually of course being in sage mode Naruto actually took the Naruto's chakra and the Naruto's like you know you could have just asked right and Naruto's like shush anyways Naruto then actually yes the Naruto's and Naruto are actually pretty good acquaintances not friends yet of course Naruto the Naruto's respects Naruto as more of a rival at this point because Naruto on his own rivals the power of the mantles and anyways Naruto creates a tail beast bomb and adds his Rasenshuriken style on it he says tail beast Rasenshuriken and basically Jiraiya was completely baffled on what kind of technique this was it was the Rasenshuriken which he actually knew even Tsuki knows and he actually had used a tail beast bomb with the Rasenshuriken so a tail beast Rasenshuriken and he actually destroyed the planetary devastation and after this destroyed the diva puff and actually tracked down nagato and both jiraiya and him did talk no jutsu and nagato nagato did see something in naruto naruto said that he'll be the new revol re revolution and naruto does want world peace he has said he, he has written in his book and anyways of course he didn't take it from uh, 
Jiraiya here, he actually took it over his journey. He did see a lot of things. And anyways, now he did want peace in the world. And after this, Jiraiya and Naruto do, do actually return to the leaf after Naruto gives himself up. And uh, Conan takes him. And here the events go a bit similar, except for the eight tails being captured. And uh, of course, here the actual eight tails. So Killer B does actually get captured. He has no escape route here because <laughs> Sasuke is too strong here. Anyways, my video is actually doing very good. My fourth video in all. I'll try my best to keep this streak up. Anyways, just for you guys. Anyways, of course, now. Anyways, once Naruto did return, of course. Uh, uh, well, sorry. The, nine, uh, the eight hills did get captured. And after this, Naruto does of course hear about it and he is hailed as the hero of the leaf village and uh, people do start actually realize that naruto is no one scary he's a kind guy and he's someone that can protect them of course they get the same vibe from him that they got from well the same they have the same trust that they had for the federal kage everyone believed in him everyone like relied on him and now this is basically Naruto. Naruto can see that and actually decides to remain in the village. And after this, the Five Kage Summit did actually happen. And Naruto does find out that the <laughs> Raikage is after Sasuke. Anyways, of course Sasuke actually does head towards the Leaf Village because he wants to kill Danzo. However, Naruto actually... Naruto and Tsuki, who actually have become more closer to each other, actually do stop him together. And Sasuke is basically in prison. However, once the great ninja, the fourth great ninja war was declared for Naruto, of course, the Shinobi Alliance was created. And here, Kabuto did try to be well. Kabuto did help out uh, Obito, but Naruto, who didn't need to go uh, to that place to master the nine tools, and he just said, "Just give me two days. Well, give me a day, and I'll see what I can do to master the nine tools strength." Because I do have to fight him anyway. And they ask how. And Naruto says in his mind. He usually talks to the Nine Tails quite a bit. And they did decide that they will fight one day. And I guess today is the day. And the Nine Tails was ready. And anyways. Now. Of course Naruto does open the gate. He did have the key from Jiraiya now. And uh, he does still meet his parents here. His parents actually appear in front of Naruto right before the fight begins. And Naruto does have a little time with them. And once their time runs out, they do say that they believe in Naruto and everything. And the masked man is Madara. Naruto does find out a bit later here. A bit, yeah, a bit later about Madara and everything. Even though he already knew that that was Madara, he declared himself as Madara. And anyways, of course, Naruto was able to easily destroy the Nine Tools. Not even using Sage Mode, just his normal powers. And of course, the Naruto says, all right, you ain't, please, I don't want to fight you anymore. And actually, Naruto has pretty much KCM2 from the get-go. And he's much stronger. Of course, the Shinobi Alliance had a much easier time uh, because thanks to Naruto, uh, even from the, even in, it was much easier than in the original. And uh, in the end, the, <laughs> the Tentos were still summoned. And here was where things started to go south. Mother was revived, the five Kage got slapped, including Jiraiya, and of course the four Kage did get revived because of Sasuke, Tsuki, Orochimaru actually, well Sasuke and Tsuki actually um, fighting with Itachi, and yes, Naruto does find out about Itachi home Tsuki, and actually once he sees, once he meets Itachi and Nagato again, he does say that they're really good people, both of them, and he respects Itachi a lot, and Itachi thanks Naruto, for all the things he's done for his sister because that and his brother because Naruto was like their motivation to get stronger not only him and Naruto says yeah but it's mostly because of you you basically were, were their protector and he did protect the whole entire leaf village with his, with his own life and Naruto says that if he had to give his own life for his he would any day and of course Hitachi then actually goes and stops Kabuto with his two siblings and in the end he does show them everything and tells them that Whatever path they choose, that he will always that he will always love them, and of course they actually do. So Asuka wants to see or oh, know what it means to be a Hokage. Well, Tsuki actually just follows along because she does actually want to like <laughs> go with her brother again because uh, she doesn't want her brother to go rogue or something. But anyways, of course, the five uh, the 
war was actually going on Nar. It, it was actually on equal terms because of Naruto actually having the power of all the nine tall beasts put together. Of course, Naruto had pretty much nearly every single condition to actually unlock his six past sage old powers. However, he still needed to that little boost anyways of course the war went a bit similar to the original just that Tsuki helped out a lot more and so he made it a bit easier to pull out all the tail beasts and of course Gar did help out because he did still have a bit of shikaku anyways of course after this Madara took everyone in and Obito did get taken to Jutsu by Naruto and uh, of course Madara pretty much slapped everyone's everyone and uh, everyone's and anyway Naruto didn't need to die, however, he meets the uh, Sage Six Pass, and in the end, he gets the Nine Tools from Obito. And uh, of course, Naruto actually does save Mike Guy. And after this, Mother is about to get killed pretty much, but he gets backstabbed and Kaguya gets right. She teleports everyone away, uh, the people who, are who have remained after the Infinite Tsukuyomi, and it was Sasuke. Sas Sasuke? Sakura, Tsuki, and Nar Naruto, and Kakashi, also Obito, anyways, of course, here, Naruto, of course, just, uh, Naruto and Sasuke had a much easier time, and they were going to seal Kaguya away, however, Naruto, instead of sealing her, he actually thought of a bad idea, killing her, Naruto doesn't like killing, however, Kaguya is a universal threat, he is, she, is, if she can destroy the world at any time, so Naruto is like, well, we could seal her away, however, a better way to get, deal with her is completely neutralize her. And so, Naruto shows everything that he's got, something that he's been hiding for a while, and actually uses his sword, basically, he does have a sword, and it's not the lightning wind blade, he actually does make it into a lightning wind blade, but it's actually a normal sword, and a katana, not a sword. But anyways, of course, he actually uses boil release and everything, and... Uh, in the end, completely, well, first cuts Kaguya, and his sword doesn't break, even after slicing through Kaguya. Kaguya was cut in half, however, then Naruto actually summons his, uh, well, uh, you know, Kurama, and he's already in his in that mode where, you know, he had the two uh, Sage Mode Rust and Shurikens, and Naruto gathered, gathered all that Sage Mode on his own while he was attacking Kaguya, and completely destroyed her, gaining the Karma Seal, and in the end, Naruto does know how to use it thanks to universal understanding and uh, understands most things however he doesn't fully understand it he only knows how to use the portal for now and brings back everyone of course Sasuke after seeing that showing of power and Naruto actually just not even being like like tired he just acts normal realizes that Sasuke has like he has no chance against Naruto of course they return to the village everything is fine Sasuke does get put in jail same as Obito however thanks to the six Tokage's influence Sasuke I mean Sasuke <laughs> Sasuke six Tokage what I mean Kakashi of course they get released and here of course Naruto is not who they think he is Naruto is not going for Hokage but he actually remains in the village where Sasuke actually becomes the Shadow Kokage, Kokage, Hokage, and Naruto actually becomes like a helper. He is more, he doesn't want to retire anymore. He actually is there just to protect the village at any moment. He is more of a Sasuke, but in the village. So, anyways, of course, years pass. Naruto and Tsuki get together. They do have Boruto and everything, and in the end, Tsuki becomes the seventh Hokage. And yeah, Tsuki is a lot more busier. However, she, thanks to her being much smarter than Hokage and Naruto, and actually being much, thanks to uh, actually using Shadow Clones to do her paperwork, she actually has more time with her kids. And Naruto, of course, being the house husband, yes, no housewife, it's Hinata, it's house husband Naruto, of course, trains his kids and everything. But I'm not going to go into Naruto with this. I, I Boruto with this. I want to go into Boruto with this series, though. This is the series that I want to actually see what Boruto would have done if his father was much cooler, 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 and um, trained him because Naruto has become a lot stronger over the years. And even Sasuke stands no chance against Naruto as of right now. And Naruto is basically 
on par with Ishiki on his on just in his ways. Anyways, hope you'll enjoy it. Please take it, stay safe. This was the King of Weebs. This is an amazing series to come back on, and hope uh, as I said before, hope you'll enjoy it. Please take it, stay safe. If you want to get your good quality merch from Beautiful Halo, you can use the codes in the description below to get 5% off on your next $49 plus order and 10% off on your next uh, $99 plus order. For the 5% off, if your order goes over $49 plus, you can use the code MEME -E -E and if it goes over $99, you can use the code MEMES M -E -M -E -S, for 10% off. Anyways, my ducklings, you're dismissed and peace. Oh wait! Don't forget to join the Discord server and follow uh, follow Shogun on Instagram. Follow me on to, uh, on Instagram and uh, subscribe to everyone in the links in the description below. Just go support everyone, and if you do, uh, if you get retreat and minimum to to a thousand subscribers, uh, let's say ten thousand subscribers. If you get them to ten thousand subscribers within the next two days, I'll do a face review. <laughs> it's impossible. And get me to five hundred k within the next two two days. Yeah, impossible. See ya.